is up you guys so today i'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to do this like sort of going through the clouds like transition thing but a lot of you guys have been actually asking me for this tutorial on how to do this camera pan effect that someone else did in final cut pro um but it's honestly it doesn't really work for a lot of clips like it only works for clips where it's kind of like cloudy i guess like because you can add clouds into your clips to kind of blend in the two so let me just show you how it could be done in premiere pro and I'm also going to be showing you guys simple ways to spice up your transitions. So yeah, let's get started with the tutorial. So like I said, this isn't going to work with a lot of your clips. You're going to need two clips with like a cloudy feel, you know? I mean, your first clip doesn't have to be cloudy, but your second clip usually has to be pretty cloudy. So yeah, first I have my two clips right here, and I'm going to transition the two. So let's get started. So I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can download this preset and I've used it in a lot of other videos. So yeah, I'll just link it below. It's free. So go to effects and search up the six screens and you can just ignore that little note and you can add it to both clips. So now it has this like mirrored effect, but let's just scale both clips back down to 300 so it goes back to the normal clip. Okay, now what we can do is we can go a little before the first clip ends and we're just gonna press the keyframe button for position and then go to the end of the clip and kind of adjust the x and y axis to like go towards the right corner but not all the way it doesn't have to be all the way but you can but i want this to be kind of a quick transition so i adjusted my x to 322 and my y axis to negative 355 so yeah it's basically just going to the right corner of the clip but not all the way Okay, now let's go to our second clip and we're gonna go a little bit forward and we're gonna press the keyframe button for position and then go back to the beginning of the clip and I'm gonna change the Y and X axis to come from the left upper corner. And this is where like a lot of the clouds are. So like I said, you kind of need like a clip where there's like a lot of clouds going on. So I adjust my Y axis to 998 and my X to 2879. So yeah, if we watch it back, it kind of does this little like camera pan effect. But to spice this up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it look like it's going through the clouds. So I'm going to go to my second clip and this is where it has a lot of the clouds. I'm just going to press alt and drag that clip up to the second line so it duplicates the clip. And then for this one, I'm just going to remove all the keyframe buttons. So I can do this by pressing the clock stopwatch and this will delete all my existing keyframes. So now I kind of want to have this clip just like of the clouds. So I'm just going to scale it down and drag the positions so it's just of the clouds and I don't see much of the canyon. Okay, so basically it's a pretty much all white clip. Um, you can actually use like clouds or something. You can take a picture from Google or something, but I'm just going to use this. So I'm just going to drag it forward to where my ending transition of the first clip starts. So I'm just going to click that I button off and then I'm going to go to where the transition ends and I'm just going to press C for cut and just cut off the rest of the existing clip and delete it. Okay, so let's just turn that I button back on. And what we can do is we can change the opacity of this. So in the beginning of the clip, I'm just going to keep the opacity. You can make this however you want. I'm going to keep it low, but I might switch it later. Um, So I'm going to keep this at like 16%. And then at the end of the clip, I want it to blend back up to the existing clip. So I'm going to press the keyframe button again and then go to the very end of the clip. And I'm going to make the opacity zero. So if we watch it back, the ending fades back to normal, um, and it looks like it's kind of going through a cloud. But I actually want this clip to look more like it's in the clouds, so I'm going to change the opacity to about 53. So now the cloud is like way more dominant. So yeah, it really does look like it's going through a cloud. Okay, then you just want to add some color grading, so I'm just going to quickly add some Lumetri color so you guys can look at the feel of this clip after color grading because it looks so much better after. And I always feel like the transition looks more blended after this, but yeah. So I'm just going to show you some other ways you can add some oomph to these, like camera pans so you can actually add some light leaks i think that would look cool and also some glitch effects so you could literally search these up on youtube and um just like online you can find stock footage of glitches or uh overlays so yeah i feel like 
this was kind of a tutorial where I'm just kind of showing you guys how you can add some oomph to your to your transitions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.